Hello my aviation friends, few of you asked me in the messages if I can focus on ATA 12, which is servicing and uh, I realized that many of you who are watching my videos are new in the aviation, so this will be one of the first tasks which you will perform on the airplane, servicing. And today I would like to focus on the hydraulic system on A320, especially where you can find the hydraulic tanks and how to service them. So let's take a look at it. A320 family aircrafts have a three independent hydraulic systems, green, blue and yellow. Green and yellow are powered by hydraulic pumps installed on the engine and for the ground operation we have an electric hydraulic pump installed on the yellow system which create enough power to supply yellow system and through the PTU which is also form of the hydraulic pump create pressure in the green system. Blue system use the same electric hydraulic pump and it is one of the two power sources for this system. It is used on the ground operations and of course during flight. And since blue system is considered as an emergency, it is also equipped with a ram air turbine about which I already made video. So if you want to see it, link is up here or in description below. Okay, that was few basic informations about hydraulic systems. Now let's take a look where we can find reservoirs. This exact one belongs to blue hydraulic system and here you can see ground car connection, pressure and the return line. And right next to it is the pressurization valve which will release air pressure from the reservoir. As the next we have hydraulic servicing panel. Through this panel you can service all three hydraulic systems and it's quite easy. All what you need to do is select hydraulic system which you want to service and when you do that with the help of this hydraulic pump, you can fill the system. But more about it a little bit later. Let's take a look on the other reservoirs. This one belongs to green system and is the biggest one. Because green system is responsible, for example, for extension and retraction of the landing gears, landing gear doors, and for example, the main brake system. So that's why you need to have a biggest volume which is, by the way, in nominal temperature around 14 liters. Now let's take a look on the yellow reservoir. You can find it in the right hydraulic compartment where is also located yellow hydraulic pump. And here we have a reservoir. In nominal temperature, it have volume around 12 liters. Now you know where all three reservoirs located. And as next, we move to the panel, which belongs to yellow ground hydraulic connection. Here we can find lever, which is necessary for servicing, and hand pump, which you can use for manual opening of cargo doors. And I of course made a video about it already, and link you can find in the right top corner or in description below. And since you know all components, we can proceed with the servicing. First of all, we'll switch on the airplane and obey all safety precautions. After that, I remove planking cut and select hydraulic system, which I want to service. In my case, it is blue. Then we need the flexible hose, which is stored above the servicing panel. And one small advice about the hose. Inside might be some residual fluid from previous servicing, so be careful with that because you don't want to have hydraulic in your eyes, trust me. When we have it out, we need to install it on the filling port of the hand pump. And the other end we place in the fresh can of hydraulic fluid. If you are servicing green or yellow hydraulic systems, you need to be sure about few things like landing gear doors and cargo doors are closed and for example brake accumulator is pressurized, but all this you'll find in your AML. And let's continue, now I need to bring the lever for the hand pump and position I showed you before. Then I need to extend the lever, install it on the pump and then start pumping. For servicing of hydraulic system, you need to know temperature of the reservoir. For that, you are gonna need thermometer, or you can use internal function, real-time monitoring through AIDS label call-up. But, but if you want center. to know how to do it, you need to take a look in your area. We need the required volume, so we can start with the removing of the handle. Then I will remove flexible hose. And after that I will store it in the compartment above the servicing panel. Mm. 
Let's cross check the quantity in the reservoirs. This is green, it need to be around 40 liters. This is yellow, it need to be around 12 liters and blue around 6 liters. All that's remaining is to perform double checking everything is on the place and correctly installed. And of course cleaning. And of course then we need to store the lever. <laughs> okay, smack it. And all what's remaining is to switch off the aircraft. This was a video about servicing of a hydraulic system on A320. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. Of course, if you have any ideas for the future videos, please also write them in the comments below. Uh, I would like to ask you for one more thing. As always, don't consider this video as a maintenance manual. Always follow latest documentation released by manufacturer because this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. And with this information, I would like to say thank you for watching. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zetor. And I will see you next one. Bye.